Hello, uh, my name is Lamin. Um, welcome to my ninth tutorial. If I don't make a mistake, anyway, uh, I'm full of jokes. So yeah, um, this actually the reason why I'm doing this ninth tutorial is because um, I've realized that people are actually having problems with this cashier problem. Um, you know, if you go to a cashier or you go to a bank, you give them three five hundred and fifty-five pound. What do they do? They take the hundreds and put them aside in one box. They take the um, the fifties and put them aside. They put the five pounds and put them aside. So that's what you want to do. You want to build a system that the system can, when you enter any digit you put in there, it can automatically know what you put there and autom automatically share it in between uh, um, the, the, the amounts you put there. So how do you create this? Um, I just want to show you, and I'll be very fast here, and I hope you do understand. I've actually created my my class, my method, everything, and I was expecting you to know this all um, right now because it's um, if you don't know this, you need to go back to my previous tutorials or go to other guys that have actually made some tutorials about this. Okay, so first of all, we import. We need to go to the library, import the Java util, meaning the scanner. We input the scanner, so we input the scanner, but now we need to put the scanner in the method because if we don't put the scanner in the method, it won't go. So we come here, we call it scanner. Sorry, um, scanner, uh, which is equals to that. Um, no, let's just do it this way. That equals to new. Okay, uh, scanner in bracket, we call it system dot in what is system dot in system dot in is uh it's system dot in means the keyboard so it's telling you to scan it scan the keyboard anytime the keyboard is pressed scan it please so that's what it's saying so now we all, what i'm going to do you already know about that is to initialize your um to initialize your your variables so i'll just call this int and i call it still in because that what we're trying to do we not we're using the 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 pound so we use sterling. I hope I spell it good. If I don't, I'm sorry. Okay, we got that. And uh, let's do a double because we might got some decimal points and all that stuff. So we got our double. So double, we call it. Uh, do we actually need that? Not really. Do we need. Hmm. Not really. Let's just forget about double for now. Okay. Uh, let's just say system. Um, dot out, uh, out dot print okay and I say in bracket I say please enter please enter your amount okay so in this case if I do this it's gonna uh, uh, if I play this it's gonna give a please enter your amount right that doesn't mean anything so we cannot write anything, you see. I'm trying to type, but it's not giving me anything. So we need to give, um, let him have the access. We need to let the user has the access to put something. So how do you do this? Okay, we, we put the styling, the styling that we got before, this is that we initialized before. So we say styling equals to, okay, she is, okay, dot next, okay, next int in bracket, we close it. So in this case, if we play it, it's going to give you the access, okay? So you see, you're writing everything you want to write. But if we run this, it's not going to go. It's not going to go. So now what we need to do is the calculation now. So first of all, we need to initiate, we need, um, I, I like putting indent, um, because what does indent do? The indent will give us some space and things and all that stuff. So if I say string, oh, sorry, my writing is horrible. So I just string, string uh, indent, okay, and I say equals to da da da, right. So now I come and initialize my 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 program. That's the calculation stuff. So I say hundred, hundred. I say fifty. This is just use fifty, and I say twenty. And I say 10, and I say 5, and I say 1. Okay, so we've now, so now we got that, 
Now we need to initialize them. So I say one, one is equals to the sterling. I hope you're understanding what I'm doing. I'm a bit fast there. One is equal to sterling. And now I say we've initialized the one now. So now we need to initialize the hundred. So hundred is equals to one is equals to one divided by that hundred. Okay. And uh, we say the one is equals to one percent hundred. Okay. If we do that. We got that. So now we need to initialize our 50. So we say 50 equals to uh, 1. I think you now understand what I'm doing. Uh, we say 50. Okay. And uh, we say 50. We say 1 equals to 1 uh, percent 50. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post it. Post this. And I'll let you finish all um, the 50, 20, 10, 5, and 1. And I will join you in a minute. I will also try and do it um, while I'm waiting for you guys. And then we'll continue from there. Hello. Welcome back. I hope you have actually did exactly what I did. If you have not, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It will be fine. Um... The only thing is, if you got it, if you got it wrong, don't worry. You will understand it by explaining it. So you have actually seen that you like the first one we did it that way. It's just going continuously. So um, now we need to call our systems now because um, if you run this like this, it will not work. So you need to call it, um, tell it come out. If not, it will not go. So well, how what how do we solve that? I have a method. I have a very nice method because what it does is it helps you actually get the goal, the actual next thing you want to do. So I will introduce something called an if statement. I hope you guys have known if statements. Use if statements everywhere, everywhere you've been. Anyway, um, so we call our if statement. So we that we say if hundred, uh, if hundred is equal to equal to hundred. Okay. If 100 is equal to equal to 100, then, then what do I want? I want you to call the system. So that's what we're coming to do now. So let me just give a little space here. So we know. Okay, so now we call our system. System dot app dot print. Okay, dot print line. Okay. So first thing I'll do is I'll introduce my indent. So I'll just say indent. You remember the indent that I was talking about a few minutes ago? I say plus. This plus means this and this put them together. Something like that. So it's going to be 100. Sorry. Uh, 100. And I say plus. Uh, say let's put the notes in. And I say... Uh, hundred notes okay so uh this is one what i'll do is i'll actually copy that i'll actually copy that and i paste it how many times we got uh we got one two three four five six so i've pasted five times one two three four five so here I just need to change that to 50, 50, change that to 50, I change that to 20, okay, change that to 20, I change that to 10, and I change that to 10. I change that to five. Change that to five. Okay, and I change that to. Uh, change that to one. One. And I change that to one. One note. Okay. The only thing is, um, we can just let's just say not one note, but let's say one pound. 
something like that. One pound, is it pounds, pounds, coin, something like that. Uh, so I just want to delete it. Uh, sorry, uh, it should be not that, but that, right. Here, uh, we can, I want to introduce something else, uh, but before we do it, I want space in it, so we call it system. Dot, uh, dot print line, let's just call it print line. Okay, dot, 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 yeah. So now we got that, so let's say, now let's put our last um, system. So we call it system, dot, uh, dot print, Sorry, my writing, I told you, my writing is bad. Um, print, let's call it print line, and in that, uh, we put, uh, say, total, um, total. And then we leave space, we say, close, sorry, close. We say sterling, if you remember the sterling, okay, and that. And that we say, uh, let's say pounds. So that is it's gonna calculate all the total and give you the total that you calculated. So um, this is like everything. I hope you understand. If you want me to do a summary, let me just do a recap and try to help you understand more. Actually, what I've done is I've imported, I've imported uh, from Java library a scanner. On the scanner to scan the keyboards and then I initialize my variable styling and I say please enter that's the first output that is please enter an amount and then I say after when you input when you done the please enter an amount then please immediately make make um, the user to have the access make the user to have the access to be able to write something in it so um, then I have initialized this something called and then in then it's just a space. I want space, you know, I like space when I'm writing. So um, we call, then I uh, create my variables that's int 100, int 50, int 20, int 10, um, int, int 5, and uh, int, 100, int, int 1. Then I first thing I did was I, I first sat down, think which one should I use first? I think it's the one because you need to, everything starts by one. So if you say one pound, one equals to sterling so you say then okay it's 100 equals to uh, 100 equals to 1 divided by 100 1 equals to 1 percent goes on goes on goes on till till the last one then i got my if statement my if statement says if 100 is equal to 100 why is 100 equal to 100 because 100 is the maximum we got do you understand what i mean so if 100 equals to 100 Please give me, if 100 equals 100, please give me an indent space and please give me the 100, okay, after calculating the 100 and give me the note, the comment that I put there, the same as the end. And here it says the type, the total of the, the sterling you've put. So actually, if I run that, okay, and it says please enter the number, uh, enter an amount. So let's say 5. Um, two, nine, now let's say nine, yeah, it's gonna give us, it tells us here, it tells us, uh, you got 200 notes, you got, um, zero, zero 050 notes, and you, you got, um, 120 notes, um, then you got, um, zero tens, and you got, but you got one five notes, and you got four coins. And you said your total is that we can give space in we can give space so we make our work much more decent in it. Uh, so if I run this again, let's use another number. Let's use three five eight. Okay. So if I use three five eight. What it says, it says three five eight um two five eight. So you got two hundred notes, you got one um fifty notes, you got zero twenty notes, you got um um ten notes, and you got one five notes, and you got three pound three pound coins. So this is actually how you create it, and I hope this helps. Thank you very much. See you in the next lecture. Like and subscribe.